Hello there guys, Matt here, hope you are all well. Okay, so, no introduction, no fancy graphics, just me, a microphone, and I threw some stock P3D footage in the background of me departing from JFK. The reason for this video is really to answer the question, where are you? Why no videos? What is going on? I'm getting this comment now, maybe... I don't know, four or five times per hour. And it's got to a point now where I'm actually getting annoyed at reading it, but really I shouldn't be getting annoyed at reading it because people just want to know and I'm not giving anybody any answers. So essentially this video will be addressing that and also I'm going to go into a little bit about what's happening in my life, a little bit about what's happened in my past, a little bit about what's happening in my future, and then hopefully you'll all have a better picture of the state of mind that I am in. Okay, so, the whole, where are the videos, what's going on, it's been two weeks since you uploaded a video, before that you were hammering maybe once every day or two, and then prior to that you also had a break as well. Well, the answer is quite simple, it's me. The problem lies with me. I've kept all of my own personal drama and my own personal emotion off YouTube, off the internet, for the last three years and I've kind of battled my own demons in the background and got on with it, but one of the repercussions of gaining a larger audience is that more people want to know about you, about your life, about what's going on, and people are extremely persistent in you explaining exactly what is happening to you and to your life. Now, I could turn around and tell those people to get lost, but... You all know me by now, I'm an open book as much as I can be, and streaming on Twitch the last couple of weeks has proven to me that people not only want to know, but also want to help. So, first of all, I want to say that if you are not someone that watches my Twitch feed, as in my live streams, then it might seem to you as if I vanished off the planet. But for the last two weeks, bar three days, I was streaming consistently for over nine hours a day, over on my Twitch channel. And there's a reason why I was doing that. I have suffered since the age of 16, and this is gonna sound massively cliche, and you probably wouldn't guess it, but with extreme anxiety and extreme depression. And when I say that, I don't just mean, oh, one day I get up and I feel a bit shit. This is, this is way beyond that. I mask it very, very well. Initially I didn't at all, I had to go and see doctors and counsellors and all of that rubbish. But I found a coping mechanism and I managed to live a relatively ordinary normal life. But stuff like that, it never goes away and sometimes it can come back and it can rear its ugly head. And the problem is, is when you find coping mechanisms for a long time and then something changes in your life, it can reset that entire pattern of the way you deal with things and it hits you harder than you would ever expect. So, when you see me taking breaks from making videos, I'm essentially having a low time. When you see me posting videos all the time, I feel fantastic and I feel great. It's a crazy spiral of emotion and it's one of which most of you are probably not familiar with and probably do not understand. So, why am I telling you all of this now? Well, number one, I feel like I owe you an explanation. And number two, I feel like I would be doing myself disjustice if I didn't at least try and make some information available to help you understand the situation that I am in. So, let's delve into said problems a little bit deeper. I said before that I suffer with anxiety and I suffer with depression and I have found coping mechanisms. Those coping mechanisms lead me to leading a relatively normal life. Well, maybe not. A normal life for you versus a normal life for me are probably worlds apart. The fact that some days I have enough mental strength to get out of bed, to get a shower, to get changed, and then to just do mundane tasks is quite the achievement. Other days, not so much. There are days when I wake up and I feel like the world is a fantastic place and I want to do everything and anything. But sadly, more often than not, I wake up and I just don't want to do anything. Everything I do when I'm having these low days is incredibly forced and I don't feel any better for doing them. And I just feel like I have a huge weight on my shoulders that is getting progressively heavier and I just need to do something about it. Some of you may know that about two years ago, 
I decided that enough was enough. I was completely fed up of feeling the way I was feeling. I was completely fed up of the people around me and I decided to move. Now, this was all a spur of the moment thing. It literally happened within about two weeks. I got this idea fixated in my head that I needed to get out. So I looked around for the perfect little place and maybe two or three weeks later, I found myself in my current place, which is a two bedroom apartment, albeit very nice, in the middle of nowhere. At the time, it seemed perfect. It seemed like the ultimate getaway and it seemed like just what I needed. And for the first two or three months, I felt fantastic. But like they say with every honeymoon period, the novelty wears off and then I soon came to regret it. However, before the regret set in, I ended up having one of my friends, I say that term loosely nowadays because of what happened, he moved in and he was having some problems at home, he needed somewhere to stay, so I offered him the second room in my apartment and he stayed there for about a year, just under a year. Now, him staying masked all of my problems. I thought everything was fantastic. We used to go out together, just used to do things together as friends do, and that's just the way it was. It was it was a good time, I can't deny that. But as they say, all good things come to an end, and if you ever follow me on Twitch, you will know the story behind what happened. However, I'm not gonna go into that here, but ultimately, he no longer lives here. He left back in October, and he went out with let's say, a bit of a bang. Now, after that, I was extremely annoyed and extremely frustrated, and I guess extremely upset. And that change in scenario, that change of pace in my life, completely cocked up any balance that I actually had for coping with my problems. I soon realized that actually, the problem is now, is that I'm incredibly lonely. I never ever thought that being lonely was a thing. I used to just think that people said that because they were looking for attention or whatever. And to anyone that I've ever given stick for, for saying that they're lonely, I am wholeheartedly sorry because holy crap, being lonely is the worst. It's worse than any anxiety, any depression, anything. It is absolutely horrific. I am now in the seventh month of living alone and I absolutely hate it. I cannot stand it. I don't have any friends to see locally, I don't have any family to see locally, and it's just destroying me. So, I'm trying to put things in place which are distracting and will also allow me to enjoy my life to whatever extent I can, and also give me some time to be able to put things in place which ultimately will lead me to be able to move forward with my life. And then here is where Twitch comes into play. Now, I've been a streamer for longer than I've been a YouTuber, just over three years. Actually, no, just under three years. It's my third year anniversary in May. Twitch for me has always been a platform which I enjoy. I enjoy chatting with you live. I enjoy producing content, but really it's not about what's on the screen. It's just about the social aspect of it. And it's only really hit home these past few weeks that actually it's a huge help. It's a massive help. Speaking to hundreds of you live in a chat about my problems, getting so many points of view, getting so many bits of advice, and also helping you guys as well, passes time selfishly so fast that my problems seem to disappear, albeit only temporarily. But it's perfect. It's a perfect solution for me, and that's why for the last two weeks, bar three days, I have been streaming pretty much consistently for anywhere between 8 and 12 hours a day because it just gets my mind off things. That and the fact that I genuinely have, and I, I know everybody says this, but a community of people that not just support me, but actually support each other is just phenomenal. I've, I've, everyone does it. If you just watch the chat, you're all helping each other, you're all chatting, you're all making friends, and now we have groups of people that have all made friends and they're doing their own thing, and it's, it's beautiful to watch. And I am massively grateful for each and every one of you that do that. So Twitch is definitely my new coping mechanism, and if that means streaming for a week and not making a YouTube video for a week, then that's exactly what's going to happen, because right now, I am taking anything I can get which will make me feel better, and if you don't agree with that, then I'm, I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is. As far as the YouTube videos go, well, I mean, I will make them as and when I feel up to making them. There is no set schedule. I'm not 
trying to make one or two or three or four or five videos a week. I'm just making them when I feel, actually, yeah, that would make a good video. Let's upload that. And it's that simple. There are over 60,000 of you here on YouTube. That is just an unfathomable amount of people. And to be honest, it's, it's quite overwhelming to someone like me that has come from a background of being very lonely and with an extremely close but small circle of friends, suddenly having 60,000 people all wanting the same thing from you is quite mind blowing and it does take a lot of time getting used to. You never quite realize the full extent of it when you first start. You know, you think maybe five, 10,000 people is big and then all of a sudden you're at 50,000 and then 60,000 and before I know it, I'm sure I'll be hitting 100,000 plus and then it just gets crazy. I just have to adjust as I go along and some people do it very, very well. I'm not one of them, I'm really not. There's no point in me trying to say that I am. Last but not least, I would like to talk a little bit about the future. And I've kept away from this subject since the very last vlog I made, which was about a year and a half ago, I want to say. And that is weight. Everyone wants to know if I've gained weight, if I've lost weight, if this, that, and the other. I've just stayed away from the subject, and the reason why I have done that is because it's my own personal thing that I want to deal with. I say I want to keep it to myself, and I have done, but then again, we go back to Twitch, and speaking to people on Twitch has made me realize then actually I can be pretty open about these things and all that people want to do is help. So I'm gonna address this whole weight scenario. And my heaviest, you all know that I was uh, about 225 kilos, which you can do the conversion to whatever you want, I really don't care. For the last six months or so, I've been under a nutritionist which has been monitoring my weight consistently for the last six months every four weeks. And now I am at a point where I have been given the green light for something called a gastric bypass. Now this is something you can Google if you're really that interested in it. But in layman's terms, they're essentially surgically, laparoscopically keyhole surgery, going into my stomach, reducing it by about between 85 and 90%, rerouting it, missing some intestine out, and then surgically suturing it back together so that I can eat a significantly less amount of food. We've kind of come to realize when I say we, I mean the nutritionist and also the psychiatrist that I'm seeing that my anxiety and my depression really started to hit me hardest when I started to gain the most weight. And that's what is causing most of the problems. So if we can get that under control and we can lose weight quickly, which is what this gastric bypass will do, then we are on the road to recovery. Maybe not complete recovery, but at least it's gonna ease most of the symptoms. As of right now, this morning, I weighed 199.5 kilos. I have not had the surgery yet, so I am still losing a very gradual amount of weight on my own. However, they have said once the surgery is complete and if I stick to everything, Thing, which I am completely committed to, I will lose anywhere between 75 and 80% of my total body fat inside of 18 months, which means this time next year, you could be speaking to someone that weighs less than 100 kilos, and that is absolutely amazing, considering I don't remember the last time I weighed 100 kilos or less. So I may, I may, I may start a different channel or even include it on this channel where I update you with kind of vlogs of what I am doing with my weight and what I'm doing with my life. And, and maybe, maybe that's something you wanna see or wanna hear. I don't know, we'll, we'll see how that pans out. But this is a kind of three year overdue update on that. And I hope that you fully understand. So that's really all I wanted to talk about in this video. It is, what, almost 20 minutes long. If you've sat through the entire thing and listened to everything I have to say, then I absolutely thank you. And if you're gonna be one of those keyboard warriors that just smash a bunch of keys and call me fat and hopeless and worthless and whatever else, then save yourself the energy because you're just gonna get banned and your comment is gonna get deleted. For everyone else that is continuously supporting me, you know how grateful I am. I'm not one of the best people at showing emotion and showing gratitude. Attitude, but, but trust me when I say this, I am beyond grateful that you guys have continued to support me throughout of the years and we're at a point now where things are only going to get better, I hope, but just keep in, in the back of your mind that 
again, I am human and I have good days, I have bad days and sometimes I just burn out and I need to reset, refocus and just take a break and I am going to do that regardless because if I don't, then I'll end up in an early grave and that's something that nobody wants. Okay, so I think that's enough for this video. I hope that you have been able to digest what I've had to say and you have a little bit more of an understanding of me and what's going on. If you want to hear more of this stuff, if you want me to update you with more of my life and the changes that are going on, then I'm more than happy to do that. I'm only going to do it though if it remains positive. If it's just a bunch of trolls trying to get on my back about it, then I'm, it's, it, it's just a one-off and that's that. Um, but, but hopefully, judging by how the support has been thus far, we should be okay. Okay, I think we're good here. That's enough from me. If you have any questions or would like to say something, feel free in the comments below. I'm all for constructive criticism. I don't mind you being a little bit harsh, a little bit abrupt, a little bit forceful. I don't mind stuff like that. It's just the absolute idiots that keyboard smash for the sake of it that I really don't appreciate. Okay, until the next video, I bid you all farewell. Take care and bye-bye.